Welcome to Sanctuary Sang TV, brought to you courtesy of First App Entertainment. I am your host, Speed. Today, we have the pleasure of being in Little Haiti in Caribbean Marketplace. This is the revealing of the beautiful Little Haiti Top Top. Look, we have to create our own culture and stay with it, right? Stick and stay with it. So, we have the pleasure of speaking with someone who's going to give us a little bit of history behind Little Top Top, and he's going to basically branch out and give us more information about it. Now, if you want more information about Sanks to Sanks TV, please feel free to log on to www.sankstrusanktv.com. I'm your host, B, Haitian Heritage. We're here to stay. Thanks to Sank TV, and I'm here with Abe, and Abe's gonna give us more information about the Little Haiti Top Top, the reveal, and the background behind it. So give us some information. How you doing? My name is Abraham Metellus, and uh, I'm fortunate to be the manager here at the Little Haiti Cultural Complex. Part of our mission is to present and preserve culture. One of the things that um, is dear to me is to represent our culture loud. And Haitian Heritage Month is one of those times where you got permission to be Haitian. Yeah. And uh, one of the things that we wanted to do is we wanted to see a top top. And so we had a company called The, the Community reached out to us. They said they want to give back to the Haitian community. And I immediately thought, well, what if we had a top top like in Little Haiti? to create our own tourism, to create our own uh, cultural experience. And so we were able to uh, work with an organization called The Community. And then our first person I thought of was Surge. And so we were able to get Surge to be a part of the project. And uh, through all this networking and connecting, we were able to get the work done like this week and unveil it today. Uh, this initiative is part of galvanizing downtown Little Haiti. Yes. Uh, we want to make sure that folks in the world know that there's a Little Haiti um, and we have so much culture, there's so much beauty to our culture and we're going to show it off using this bus. And so um, through the lizards, uh, we had some lizards done because I was like, how are we in Little Haiti and we don't have some iconic figures, right? right, right. Little Havana has roosters, Miami Lakes has cows. So I said, hey, why, not, why don't we do something special? So we have some geckos that are actually inside. Um, and we're going to identify a couple of businesses, uh, partners, where we can place those geckos and that will be uh, tour bus stops for us. And so we're, we're promoting it to the community, promoting it to the world. Get on the top top. Love it. Bridging the gap, Bridging, right? Yep. And allowing other cultures to tap into top top tap into what we have going on as far as our culture is concerned. I love it. Thank you for staying with us for a little bit and giving us information. You guys, check out Top Top here at Little Haiti. It's it's an awesome event that we have today and also all the time we have events here. Yes. Yeah, so every Saturday uh, we have Caribbean Market Day. Caribbean Market Day is an opportunity for us to showcase live artists and local vendors. So we have Haitian food, uh, Jamaican food, we have local vendors and the initiative is really to galvanize the Caribbean marketplace. As that was kind of like dormant uh, for some time and so uh, for the last year we've been galvanizing it programming it we have live music plug number one is performing today 
Um, and so every Saturday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., you can come and experience the culture. Thank you so much, Abe. You guys, come check us out here. We'll check him out. And come and get a piece of culture, you guys. We're here at Sanks to Sanks TV. If you want more information about us, please feel free to log on to www.sanks2sanktv.com. I'm your host, B. You can find me on Instagram at BeLongChamp. Healthcare workers and nurses are in high demand. Take your first step toward a medical career today at Ideal Professional Institute in Miami Gardens. With multiple programs available, you can become a patient care technician in just nine months, a home health aide in under one month, an LPN in just a year. Ideal Professional Institute is licensed by the state of Florida, so register now. Call 305-653-7886. Yo pa kone kote nou soti. Watch 6 or 5 TV. 6 or 5 TV.com. Yo pa kone ki bo nou prale. All we watch is 6 or 5 TV. Hey, 6 or 5 TV.com. The greatest show right now. Na 6 or 5. I watch that show every day. 6 or 5 with Branchy. And you're watching 5 or 5. Na 5 or 5. We pa we flip pa flip toujou Branchy 6 or 5 TV. 5 sur 5, the best show right now. Na 5 sur 5, c'est là nous pour aller, yeah! You're watching 6 sur 5, and keep watching. Toujours gratte 5 sur 5 chaque semaine. 5 sur 5 TV, son TV show exceptionnel. 5 sur 5 TV, c'est comme ça que nous gardons chaque jour. I remember 5 sur 5, every time Santa said keep it live. You're watching 5 sur 5 TV dot com. Sink to sink. Music is life. Yeah, yeah. Move it, move it. Voice to the man just on reach and on to the world. Um, take one out. Thanks to Saint TV. I'm your host B, and we are here with having the pleasure of being with here with Mecca Grimo. Yes, yes, Mecca, aka Grimo. All right, so we're here at the Little Haiti Culture Arts Center, and we understand that we just had the unveiling of the Little Haiti Top Top. Yes, yes, Little Haiti Top Top is definitely uh, something symbolic back in our country. Um, you know, people always ask me like, why they call you know our, the buses over there? Yeah, top we're just tops, talking you know? about that. Yeah, so you know, you gotta. There's no bell. There's I no said string. That. Mm. Anything you just you gotta, gotta tap the bus. I said it. that. But I think that's just the most basic. You know, right. even over here it was like that before the bell and everything. Exactly. You know, you had to tap or you know holler at the the bus driver, let them know you're getting off at that stop. Right, but, but um, it's even a bigger message behind this whole top top revealing unveiling because we understand that a lot of the buses do not come within this area because there's competition, right? Right, right. So explain to us how you guys are basically bridging the gap between the community and different cultures. We're just exposing them to culture. You know, um, basically uh, we're in Little Haiti, we're in CIET. And so we can't be in a community like this without having the culture that goes along with it. If we're in Little Haiti, that means that culture represents food, fashion, uh, music, dance, um, you know, language, right. everything, uh, you know, all of those different elements. So we can't just give you music and jam out, but not give you, you know, the food at, at Caribbean market day exactly. at the Mashi We can't give you like the transportation service. We got to give you that whole experience. Right, right. You know, we're gonna have, we're not gonna have like the city bus come through here to take you to, you know, where you got to go. So, you know, um, that's my phone right there. Cause you know, a couple bookings going on in the month of May. We keep it natural <laughs> over here. All right. So, um, I do workshops for the youth also, and we expose that culture. You know, right. I got like a little small top top that, you know, I show them what it is because they don't know. They've never been to Haiti. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I love little Haiti and CIET so much because the youth that never goes to Haiti or doesn't get that exposure in the home, they can come right here to little Haiti and they can get that, you know, their culture right here. 
I love the way that you guys are still trying to hold on to the culture because a lot of areas in Little Haiti, as you drive in and out, you see that it's changing, that right. there is a different face that's coming on to Little Haiti. And how do you feel about that? It's, it's almost like it's inevitable, but the people are definitely bonding together to make sure that it's a much more difficult process. Because we've seen what gentrification did to 125th in Harlem. Mm -hmm. We see what it did to Brooklyn. We see what it did to a lot of places in right. Texas, Chicago. This happens all over the world. Right. It just seems like a cycle that just is ongoing. But if the people bond together and say, like, no, we don't want this 13-story uh, uh, building right in the heart of Little Haiti. We can't see our monument, which represents our Haitian soldiers, you know, and bring about those facts and bring about those issues that really make sense to us. You know, yeah. you're coming into our community and you're coming to build or, um, you know, it's just, you know, it's important to us. You got to meet with us, you gotcha. know, in order to move forward with anything going on here. And we're going to make sure that that's a reckoning force. We love it. We love how you always stay in the paint with us. You always represent. And it's not only through words, it's through your actions. So keep up the great work. If we want more information about you, where can we contact you for booking? You can definitely catch me on all my social media at Mecca, a.k.a. Grimo. Um, if you're looking on Facebook, it's Mecca Grimo Marcelin. Uh, you can email me at Haiti was born in me at Gmail. And uh, I just want to say, you know, Haitian Heritage Month is not just, you know, is we, we don't just celebrate this this culture just this month. 365. It's 365, but we're just highlighting in this month, you know. 18th May is uh, Haitian Flag Day, Fed du Drapeau. Uh, you know, big things going on. We got a, a, a elaborate calendar um, that really highlights a lot of different events, um, you know, that's going to be going on, that's going to be showcasing all of this different culture. I, I can't expect every, every event to really, like, tap into food, fashion. There might be an event that taps into fashion. Right, Might right. be a fashion show. Might be another event that's like Taste of Haiti or something like right. that that might be, like, the food and really cover, like, all the different type of foods. So salute to all the different companies that's really making a big effort. Yes, you thank know, you to for really, that. Yeah. Thank to, you for the sponsorship, you guys. So yeah. if you more, want more information about Mecca, you see where to catch them. I like the one that says Haiti, Haiti was born in me. I like that one. Yeah, that's my new book. I'm working on a book called Haiti was born in me. It's poetry. It's, it's spoken word. It's poetry in the beginning. And then the back of it is a uh, like a cultural guide. Okay, so if okay. you don't, so if you're not Haitian, you know, you can still learn some Haitian proverbs. Got you can you. learn maybe the five uh, most popular Haitian dishes, the okay. science and the, um, the, the, the education behind our soup on right. Independence Day, why right. we eat it, the Haitian flag, the symbolism, not just you know it's, Haitian is not just putting a flag on your head and rocking out you know and what I mean colors. nah it's nah so much more than that it's so much well, more than that thank you for sticking and staying with us you guys if you want more information about Sinks Sink TV log on to www.sinksusinktv.com I'm your host B we'll be back Sinks to Sink We're back on Saints to Saint TV. I'm your host, B, and we have the pleasure of being here with pop sensation Miu Haiti. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. <laughs> I love the fact that you are a pop sensation and it's international. Let me ask you first of all, what does your name mean, Miu? Because Miu sounds Asian. Yeah, no, it does sound mm. Asian, but um, it was my nickname since I was a little girl. My real name is Muriel. Oh, Muriel. And so uh, people at home used to call me Miu. Okay. So I kept it. <laughs> love it, love it. And I put the signature of Haiti so they know where I'm from. So. Oh, so they know you're Haitian. <laughs> yeah. And I love the fact that you have so many songs that merge different genres and different like eclectic sounds. So tell me why is it that you chose that route to, to, to do it, not compa, not zoop. I grew up listening to all kinds of music and my dad is a saxophone player. Ah. Um, he played with, um, in a lot of uh, Haitian compa bands mm -hmm. like um, Septentrional, Bossa Combo, Tabu okay. Combo. Ooh. So I grew up listening a lot of 
mu different genres because he said I'm used to playing compas so when I get home I have to listen to something else. I got you. I got <laughs> so, you. So so that's that's how I get this eclectic sense of music from. And then you also write your own lyrics. Yeah, I do write my own lyrics. I didn't know I could because I, I started writing poetry when I was in school. Mm -hmm. And then uh, when I got into music and I tried and, and I did, then I kept doing it. So you writing your poetry, and I, I tell people all the time, <laughs> I'm like, music is poetry. It's that, poetry. That's, you just that's what it is. It. And Rap, you put, you put, you put yeah, the melody. Sound. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. So when you're writing this, is it coming from experience or is it your use of imagination where you're not connected with it? How is it that you come I'm out with these lyrics? Very, um, I'm the type of person who is inspired by everything around me okay. and I speak um, uh, mostly about relationship between people oh. um, and then a little bit about partying and stuff. So when you say a relationship, are you referring to just all type of relationship or um, all is it type love, of, All type of relationships, yeah. Okay. And my last single, Introducing My Next Album, is Bum Ma Bao. It's Bum something, Ma Bao. Yeah, talking about um, how you should um, give back to to someone who gives something to you. Yeah, reciprocate it's, it. Yes, yeah. It's very important to keep it moving, you know, keep it flowing. Right, right. Yeah. That energy, yeah. have that good vibe. If yes. you give it to me, I give it, <laughs> give to, it to you. you. <laughs> and that's on different levels, right? Yeah. <laughs> So what happens when you keep giving, 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 and then it's not being reciprocated? Do you have anything yeah. on this album that discuss that? <laughs> um, no. Okay. No. Okay. No. Not quite. Not quite. Okay. But um, maybe it's coming in the I'm next pretty line. Sure. I don't know. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so people are able to connect with your music very well, right? So how is it that you, how is it that you make that connection? Like, what is it? Is it your authenticity, or what is it about your music that allows I, people? I I think that the the most important thing for me in my music is I make sure that I talk about something that really touched me, and yeah. I think that that makes it it's very authentic and yeah. it's very personal right. at the same time. But it people can relate because it's. So most of the time it's stuff that people live every day mm -hmm. right and I think people are able to when, when people sense authenticity or they get a dose of authenticity they are able to connect with it better it's true it's true let's talk about your track really quick it says you did too much yeah yeah mm. uh, that, is that you did too much in a good way you did too much in a bad in way in a too good way in a too, <laughs> in a too good, good way. way I was talking about a relationship where the guy is we're really too good. Ah, yeah, we're too really, good to be really true. Too good to be true. Ah. And uh, sometimes you know it can be overwhelming. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> so when things are too good to be true, we we know that sometimes our radars go up, right? We're like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like hold up, yeah. what's coming next, right? Mm -hmm. But do you think sometimes when we get that too good to be true experience, that we sometimes sabotage it? It happen. It happens to us most of the time because we are not used to. It. Yeah. yeah. So uh, sometimes it's uh, it's very authentic. The person really right. means to be. Um, it's it's very the authentic personality of the person. Right. But sometimes it's not. Yeah. Sometimes there's a problem. So we have to get that <laughs> spirit of discernment, right? That discernment to 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 tell us, okay, when, or to tell us when we're supposed to. Exit stage left, or let's stick and stay, right? Yeah. Audience of Sanks to Sanks, stick and stay. We'll be back. Sanks to sink. Music is love.
on Sanctuary Sang TV, and we're here with Miu Haiti, the eclectic pop singer. Okay, so first off, I want to talk about your song, They Say. They Say. Because They Say is also a video connected yes. with They Say. Mm -hmm. And well, tell me a little bit about They Say. They Say is a song that I wrote really when I was very, very young. And we were just playing around, and I was, I was uh, thinking about this relationship I went through where... Um, everybody was talking a lot of crap about my guy, ah. and I was really pissed off. Okay, so that, so that some anger yeah. in that song. <laughs> they say, they say, and yeah. we have a. I mean, we have some reasons to be angry, and it's okay to be angry sometimes. And um, unfortunately, the person who who is the president of our country, he said a lot of terrible things about our beloved Haiti, and you currently live in Haiti. Yeah. You live in Haiti. You travel all over to mm -hmm. perform. Tell us a little bit about your experience with living in Haiti and transitioning to the performance world. How is that for you? Um, it's very good. Um, it's good to live where you're uh, with the whole family. You know, mm -hmm. maybe when people move here, they are in their little bubble with the, the the family, like what people here call family. Right. Us, it's a little it's a little different right, than what they call family. We have, have the extended family. family. Right. And you have everybody when you have dinner um, on Sunday and everybody's here, uncles and cousins and stuff. It's very nice to have all your family around you. And let me ask you, when you write your lyrics, right, does it make a difference in the setting that you're writing in? Let's say if you were in Haiti versus you in America, is, do you think that will play a difference or is it not so much you just go into your imagination. It's not so much about where I'm at. Mm -hmm. It's it's where I'm at emotionally, gotcha. um, what I'm going through in the moment, and that's that's more what it's about. Got you, got you. So you have another song in here that I wanted to um, talk about that has a video. Um, you said, okay, help me with a little French. Je veux mon aller. Ah, je, je veux mon aller. aller. If you want me, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh, je veux mon aller is is uh, the second. Um, song that I uh, single that I released on this album okay. um, and this song is very deep and I was going through a really tough time emotionally okay and I had to write this because people um, Haitian people we we sometimes feel like I have to go somewhere else and it's not just Haitian people you know everybody's right. going through this you you get to some point where you feel frustrated right. and you feel like nothing is working mm -hmm. I gotta try somewhere else I gotta do something I can't stay you know right yeah that was okay that was it <laughs> so you go through a lot which is like everyone everyone has their trials and tribulations and go through a lot so is writing and performing a type of therapy for you it is. It was since I was a little girl. Um, I started, I realized I had a voice to sing when I was nine. So oh. it was really an escape for me. I used to stay in the staircase and sing for hours. No one, and no my one. parents would be like, are you done with your homework? <laughs> so this is how it started and it's, it, it's been really helpful for me. So the first time you performed, like on the stage, how was that for you? It was nerve-wracking, uh -huh. nerve-wracking. It was uh, something that I um, I just jumped into it. And how old were you? Do you remember? I was 17. Okay, okay. And then um, it went well. It went well. Okay. And, you didn't uh, crack a note. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Everything went fine. But um, that's where when I knew that I I'm stuck in that thing. The, nice. I'm, I'm not going nowhere. So you gained yeah. your wings at yeah. that time and you was like, I'm, I'm, this yeah. is it for me. This is it. This is it. That's what I'm going to do for the rest of my so life. So <laughs> before you, before you got to that moment, was there any other thing that you wanted to do before you, before you had I that knew, confirmation? I knew I was an artist. Okay. I knew I was meant to do something artistic and I have a lot of, um, I have abilities in uh, many different artistic Genres. Okay. So I used to write, as I told you. Right, right. Um, and I, I used to paint. Oh. I still do when I when, when I feel like it. So I, I used to draw, and and I am very fashion for it. addicted. You are. So um, I used to draw um, outfits and stuff, and I wanted to be a stylist or uh, whatever. But, right. but everything is possible. So. Gotcha. Everything is. <laughs> when we come back, I want to discuss ton. Ton, all right? So, ton until moment. Now, we're going to on Sanctuary Sanctuary TV. 
We'll be back. Thanks for saying TV. I'm your host B, and we're here with Miu Haiti. <laughs> All right, so she's a pop artist, eclectic pop artist, internationally, and we wanted to talk about Thun before we left. That's what we left off on. Now, tell me a little bit about that. This is the first single, the song that everybody know me for, and the, I, that is stuck with me everywhere I go. They ask for it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, so that's your signature. Yeah, that's my signature song, and it's always a pleasure to perform it because. I put a lot of emotion through that song and um, all the stories I heard from the fans who love it for a, a reason or another, it really goes through through me when I'm performing oh, that nice, song. Oh, nice, nice. About that, yeah, let's talk about that. So when you're performing, right, is there a sort of energy that's flowing where, okay, you can get the vibes from the audience and then it's, it's then brought back, it's reciprocated back and forth? It's really a bum my bow situation ah, when you're performing. No, um, you can give your all on stage, mm -hmm. but um, you also need the energy from the audience. It's, all, it's always a... Um, like a it, rush, right? It always change rush. the experience yes. totally. Yeah. Right, right. Mm -hmm. All right, so if someone is trying to get into this field, you... I mean, by all means, have overcome so many obstacles because it's so difficult to go into artistry while you're in Haiti. That's the first first off, because for some reason, Haitians have a difficult time respecting the arts, right? Especially if you're at a young age, there's a lot that you must overcome. And then not only that, but you are in a different genre and you're traveling from country to country to perform. So how is it that you're able to do this and stay motivated to do this? Um, I am about to to stay motivated because of my fans because they're always there. They're always leaving very kind comments and sticking with me through nice. thick and thin and it's very, very helpful. Without their help, I wouldn't be there. And that means a lot for me, um, their support and, and I, I can, I'm very grateful. Shout out to the fans. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, shout out to the fans. So. If someone was trying to branch out into this and they were, you know, they came to you with advice. I'm going to tell that person that it's way easier now than it was before yeah. uh, thanks to social media. Oh, yes. and Thanks to the Internet. And you can learn a lot of things because people went through what you're going through right now. And, you know, you can get advice um, on the Internet from everybody. Yeah, technology has this. really changed the game. Yes. Technology uh, has it's, allowed. It's very helpful for right. people starting up right yeah, now. Yeah. So is there anyone special that assists you that helps you out in your time of need as far as motivating you come on me you keep it going um i i i am very very um blessed to have family members and friends who really keep me going you know yes. they keep me motivated and they push me toward my dreams and i, I can be more grateful for that love it love mm -hmm. it so you know in different genres we have <laughs> different, I don't know, things that's, that are going on. Anybody in the Haitian community um, that reached out to you, any songstress that's reached out to you and that says, keep keep up the good work, Any anyone? That's, that's um, I can say that uh, we, we really push each other. Okay. It, 
every time we get the the chance to to sit and have a conversation we push each other and it's it's been all love it's been all love and love it's it. good to see your peers getting f further and and you know got it got it so let's talk about another video you have one more video that's on um, the internet Actually, YouTube, and then all your music can be found on all the music. music all islands, my music right? can find can be found everywhere. Right, everywhere. Right. <laughs> so when you are when you're doing your videos, right? Because then you got to get a lot of acting in, involved in that. How how is that process for you? Because do, you have to get in the moment. You're not actually singing, no. right? Are you yeah. singing, or yeah, are they just I do playing sing. a track? I do oh, sing. You're singing yeah, live. I do oh. sing live, and because it makes it look like a little. It's more authentic, more right? Authentic it's real. And yes. Real. yes. And um, I work with a great team when I'm shooting videos. Um, I work, um, my three last videos was with uh, the artistic director, Ralph Lee Okay. And he's very good at his job and he, he keeps me on point. And I can say that uh, when I was in high school, I used to, I used to have, um, how you how you do you call that a uh, acting. dramatic uh, acting oh, class? Oh, drama. So you drama. Yes. Okay. Don't I used to do do this? So so I got that. I get that that background that helps me out. We love it. We love it. Thanks to Sank TV. We have so much more in store for you. We'll be right back in just a few. Yo pa konen kote nou soti. Watch 605TV. 605TV.com. Yo pa konen ki bo nou prale. All we watch is 605TV. Hey, 605TV.com. The greatest show right now. Na 605. I watch that show every day. 605 red branche. And you're watching 605. Na 605. Ah, wè pa wè, flip a flip, toujou branche 605TV. 605, the best show right now. Na 605, c'est là nous prale, yeah. You're watching 605 and keep watching. Je regarde 605 chaque semaine. 605TV, son TV show exceptionnel. 605TV.com, c'est le mou garde chaque show, man. I remember, 605. Every time Santa said keep it live. You're watching SyncSyncTV.com. Sync to sync. Music is live. Yeah, yeah. Thanks to Tank TV, and we're continuing our conversation with me, you Haiti, and we're talking about unexpected. You guys gotta check this out when you get a chance. So, I wanted to ask you, as far as your main producer is concerned, how is it that you guys go about producing your art? Um, I work mostly with uh, on this album. I work mostly with Nice Beat, um, Andy Irwin Charles, and um, he's very, very. Um, uh, yes. I like when someone can listen to me and get what, follow my directions and get what I'm trying to put out. Right, and right. He's very good at that. It takes a special mm -hmm. connection in order to do that, right? Yes. Because you have to be on one accord with a person yes. and really listen. You're right because some people, some people have their own agenda, mm -hmm. and they don't realize <laughs> they don't realize that it's your that is your project, yeah. right? And, yeah. and and come see. When I'm writing something, I know exactly what I want um, 
the beat to sound like right right and he's very good at following that my, my directions so like, how do you do that do you like beat on the table like how do you how do you tell him what beat I, do you I want i tell him i want the guitar to sound like this i do it with my with your voice, voice. <laughs> oh, okay okay so, um, that, and how do you do the do beat it. Um, and sometimes I let them, I let him do his thing. Okay, okay, And okay. I change some some stuff. I ask him, let's change this, let's change that. Okay. And and other members of my team can have inputs. I I, I always so say flexible. that music is something that we do together. Ah, and if it's, so it's someone, fluid. if it's only one person working on something, there's right. gonna be something missing. Right. So I like when people have inputs. Because l'union fait la force. And for the second album, I'm. I'm still working with um, Nice Beat, but I'm working with uh, with um, a French producer, okay. uh, Lionel Pasquier, right. who is, uh, and I'm working also with other producers, and I'm trying to make it very, very uh, eclectic. Gotcha. Uh, like I because am. that's your <laughs> yeah, that's how you are. And you, how, how many languages? Four languages you speak? I speak barely four languages. I okay. say barely because I'm not that fluent in Spanish. Gotcha. Okay. So French, English. Your well, English is yeah. impeccable. Thank you. So in, in Haiti, you that's all they taught you in? Is was it or is it a combination um, of the French and the English? I um I used to speak uh, Creole at home, okay. French at school. And I had friend, uh, English classes, and that's where I, I learned English. Nice, <laughs> nice. All right, so if you could collaborate with someone, would you? Who who would it be? Uh, at the moment, it's I'm, I'm not many. sure. There's a, there's way too many. What about your dad? Like, How would that be like? Um, I um I didn't uh, try to collaborate with my dad, but I I tried um, before coming here. We did some shows together. Mm -hmm. And uh, people really like the the, mm. the matching of the sax with my music. Love it. Are you the only child? Or you have siblings? I have siblings. I have a, a little brother and I have a half sister. Nice. Who, who is really older than me. Okay, okay. All right, so back to your music. So Baby Boo. Baby Boo. What's up with Baby Boo? What's up with Baby Boo? <laughs> <laughs> Baby Boo is a, is a song that I wrote who is really talking about um, when, you know, the, that when a man is checking you out ah, okay. and you know what he's up to. Okay, okay, okay. Know, but so you see it a mile away. Game, ah. You're watching. Right, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. So I'm done. That's I'm okay. swim. Yeah, I'll swim. Well, I'm swim. <laughs> gonna plan. So in other words, player, player, I'm going to make you feel like you're doing yeah. something. But at the end of the day, <laughs> I'm the 10 steps a set ahead yeah. of you. Got you, got you. <laughs> All right, so you have so much up and coming events coming up. You have a lot of, um, you have your album uh, on, yeah. um, all me media outlets. Mm -hmm. If we want more information about you, where could we contact you? Uh, I am uh, Miu Haiti, M I U H A I T I, everywhere at Miu Haiti on social media. And the website is www.miuhaiti.com. You can get uh, to all all the places where you can find my music buy my music and i'm on youtube check out my videos i got five music videos check them out and then show me some love comment share um and let me know that you uh, that you follow this interview with love sexy sync tv <laughs> love you thank you so much we have one more segment left and we'll be right back here at sync to sync tv Healthcare workers and nurses are in high demand. 
Take your first step toward a medical career today at Ideal Professional Institute in Miami Gardens. With multiple programs available, you can become a patient care technician in just nine months, a home health aide in under one month, an LPN in just a year. Ideal Professional Institute is licensed by the state of Florida. So register now. Call 305-653-7886. Welcome back to Sanctuary Sanctuary Sanct TV, and we're about to close the show. I want to thank you so much, Miu Miu Haiti, for coming and spending time with us. It was a very good interview. I had a great time with you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We were here at Caribbean Marketplace for the unveiling of the Little Haiti Top Top, and we're also right now here at the Little Haiti Culture Arts Center. We want to thank you so much for sticking and staying with us. Sanct to Sanct TV fans, thank you so much. Without you, we wouldn't be here. If you want more information about us, please feel free to log on to www.sanctstosanctv.com. I am your host, B. You can find me at B Longchamp on Instagram. You can also find us on Instagram at Sanct to Sanct TV. Also, don't forget, check out her album, Unexpected Mew Haiti. We love you.